Okay guys, in this video we will do the Witchfire Island of the Damned, the Wailing Tower main dungeon, right? So just first thing to say, before I enter, I'm using the Hangfire, the Echo and this Vulture, I'm using Frost Cone and the Burning Stake, right? From Relic's Book of Serpents, Fetish this to prevent me from dying one time and this ring to leave the grenades behind. So all these three. Now let's go and I will talk as we go. So once you solve the puzzle, this door will always be open and then once you progress down it's gonna be harder and harder, right? So now first what you wanna do when you first come here you wanna jump around all of these because there is prophecies. Now I forgot exactly where, but somewhere here you can find prophecies on these vaults, right? And uh one is somewhere here I think. Then you need to jump down on this here guys and now you can do whatever you want here because these guys can't touch right? so now when I go down here I'll just start now, a lot of them will come out guys around 30 I guess that matter because here this part is very easy Once you kill all of this, you have to spawn a green pistol. And once the green pistol is spawned, the area is cleared, guys. And now... Okay, more of this, but... Huh, I don't need help now. Now you need to grab this. You have to go to the second level, right? So now this is bad, Arcana. And lose one elixir. Hmm. Okay, I need to lose one elixir and then grab it again, right? So this now was very good because I didn't actually lose anything. And I don't need bullets now for the second level, I have enough. Because on the second level, guys, you need to kill the enemies inside of the, of the three circles. Once you enter this door, it's gonna close behind you, so you cannot go back here. And you need to kill the enemies inside of these circles, right? So now all these here and then the first circle is done. Now we want to go immediately to the next one. Kill the enemies there, right? We don't want to waste time in killing oops, killing them around here because it's no use. Now I use this. What the fuck is that burning cross? Oh my god, I forgot to them using that now. But okay. So again, just need to kill them. Oh, okay, guys. Come on. Just wait here and just uh, kill these guys while you are in the circle, guys. I think this is the last one, and now this circle is done again. What you want to do immediately go to the last one and start killing them from here. Now I usually use this again because it's going to the enemy, and it's just gonna kill everybody, right? But I don't want this to hit me, oh my god, man. Just hit him, and this guy. And okay, now I do. Okay, they are dead now. So as you can see now, this is not actually bad. Once you know what you need to do, all the enemies will disappear now. Again, we need to grab this to progress to another level. Now, silent relic, I can't do that. Primary weapon or spell damage and power. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this one. Now, do I need bullets? For the level 3, I need the bullets, I think, but... Let me say something now. More keys and shit. Now the third level, guys, is actually 
where the fun starts and everything after that. So I need to refill the ammo actually. I will do it now. So no retreat or maybe lose the jump because when you choose this you can still jump but only once now you don't have to double jump anymore, right? Now here guys, when you open this door, what you actually need to do down here, you need to kill the priests twice. So you need to kill them, enter the void, go back and kill them again. I will show you now what I mean with this. So these priests here, right? So once you kill them once, like this, now you want to enter this void, but you don't need to kill enemies there. That's how I lose so many times here, guys. Because once you enter here, these enemies here are very strong, right? So what you want to do, you want to just run away, because you don't need to kill them, right? We don't need to kill them. We just need to kill the priests, so... You want this dream to end as quick as possible, so... This second stone so will back then. Inside there, to kill the priests, because they are doing the ritual. And you don't actually need to kill anybody here. But if you die, I suggest you die outside, because then you can pick up the body without... Uh, You can then uh, pick up the body without entering the dungeon again, if you die outside, you know what I mean? So now I'm just looking for the priests, actually. Not these guys, because we want to kill them, guys. So just them. And then enter the void again, if necessary, but... Kill them. Right? And this guy also. Because he's the actual boss. That will spawn... Uh, in the end, now again, I'm just waiting this to open, right? Oh, there's the last priest, right? So after you kill the priests, they will spawn the ritual again, right now. So you want to enter this immediately again. Then just get the fuck out of these guys, right? Because these guys are really strong and then you can die easily here in this dream. So reload weapons, do whatever you need here, guys, and then just... Kill the priests again when you go back and the uh, next level will open, so now it's all done. If you want to quickly open this door, oh my god, yeah, but uh, because they will spawn again if you don't. They will spawn really quickly now again. So, ring, lose the melee, I'm not using melee at all. So I will choose this, and now, open the gate for the final boss. Now let me just see, I have enough bullets, I have enough everything. Then you can take this, but when you take this, it's gonna spawn them again, look at this thing. So the divine essence, yes, 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 yes. And now they will spawn again, you see? So that's why we want to go now and start the boss. So now the small cutscene. Now the next phase is this one. So we need to shoot these guys, of course. The more of them I shoot, the more of these the damage is pressure. Yeah, but they're not here, so let's take, take this. Okay, I don't want to die. Now where is the boss? Because here, around, you have this, right? So this is to heal yourself. Okay, buddy. No, 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 I'm stuck because I don't know where I am, okay? This is a little bit sometimes. But where is the boss now? About this. And now this phase is actually <laughs> terrible guys because it will 
spawn a lot of this. No. grab the bullets guys because I don't have the bullets yeah this is the bullets come on and let's see mm, secondary weapon stamina regeneration or primary oh my god so I need to choose this now I'm full again so let's see Run away from these guys and try to kill everybody, of course. I don't know why I'm using the shotgun here because it's not so great weapon. Guys. But as you can see now, another phase again. Like I've seen so. Now we just need to shoot him fast But okay, last health. This is one health. Oh yeah, I forgot that here is this guy is also. And the last potion. guys and that's it so you just need to shoot him as much as you can collect the remains and very fucking nice this is how you do the dungeon so now just want to exit man okay and we are back here so let's see now there is the portal to go out but uh, can I just grab maybe something else Again, one elixir. I don't need any of this. I'm just gonna circle around to see. Oh, this area is currently unavailable. Okay. And I grabbed the weapon from here already. And this. Oh, manifest prophecy. Okay. And we got the prophecy, so we can do this five times. Okay, divine essence is going for that. Now I know that also because this is the first time now I killed this boss. And uh, yeah, all this is unavailable. I don't need to heal myself. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, consider liking, subscribing, and commenting, and join me in another Witfire video where we're going to do something else. And this is my stats for this run. So again, thank you for watching, and see you in another video, guys. Bye.